It's 2024. Should we use a SEP IRA or a solo 401k? Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss, right? So this is out there. So many people now work for themselves. And I think self-employment and solopreneurship is growing because, hey, we live in a tech-enabled world. It's easier than ever to work for oneself. And I think, um, you know, people who work for themselves need to be thinking about their retirement planning. And there are two main accounts that come up in this regard. One is the so-called SEP IRA, and the other is the so-called solo 401k. And for many, many years, the SEP IRA and the solo 401k were about equal when it came to contribution limits. But the deadlines were so much better for the SEP IRA for many years. Now, that changed in the year 2002 to very little fanfare back then, because remember, we didn't have the inner, we had the internet, but we didn't have like YouTube the way it is today. We certainly didn't have X, we didn't have LinkedIn. So this change happened and it got almost no fanfare in terms of contribution limits. Starting in 2002, the contribution limit to the solo 401k for many solopreneurs is so much higher. And, you know, I, I look at it now in the year 2024, and I say, you know, if you have 100000 of Schedule C income, how much could you put into a SEP IRA? It's roughly 18500 and a little change. Well, that's good. Okay, that's fantastic. What could you put into a solo 401k? Well, you got to remember, the solo 401k has an employer contribution, which is about 18500 about the exact same number as the SEP IRA plus a $23,000 employee contribution. And oh, by the way, if you are a 50 year older, add 7,000 to that number. So we're over 41,000 and over 48,000 for 50 year older versus the 18,500 and change for the SEP IRA. So for that reason alone, I think a lot of the solopreneurs in the audience ought to be thinking, you know, hey, I've had a SEP IRA for years. Well, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But now might be the time to level it up, to say, you know what? I want to cut my taxes more. I want to build more for uh, retirement savings. And so maybe this is the year I switch over to a solo 401k instead of the SEP IRA. Um, Look, the SEP IRA has its advantages. It's a little bit simpler, obviously, to maintain than a solo 401k, but solo 401ks are not rocket science. Um, I think for the solopreneurs in the audience, especially those who are getting the six figures of income, 2024 might be the year to say, you know what, maybe now's the time to level up and to go with the solo 401k instead of the SEP IRA. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.